Hey guys, we're going to talk about the worst episodes of season seven. Now, I know that a lot of you guys had a few comments about it and we'll be reading those off in the end of the video. I just want to say that I thought about doing honorable mentions and there's a lot that I could add here. There will be blood, the mentalists, the girl next door. But I felt that, you know what, just do five. I just want to get this season over and done with. So we're starting off with the number five worst episode of the season it's the season finale survival of the fittest what a fart there are two good parts about this episode the first being bobby being let go that part's great and then after that it's boring dull and uneventful and fucking disappointing and then the other good part is the last minute of the episode where dean and castiel are in purgatory but otherwise that's it you get a very very unsatisfactory ending for Dick Roman. I don't really even understand the point of the double stake thing. It just made no sense. They tried to say, oh, we had to catch you off guard. You already stabbed him once. Why didn't Castiel stab him? Castiel could literally have redeemed himself for what he caused. There's a great character redeeming moment, but no, you just have Dean stab him again you just have a very uneventful end to a very uninteresting villain you had it like the hope was that at least after the just the resounding boredom that this season was you were going to get a cool finale for the villains who had already been fucking lukewarm potatoes and no they just went out with a bore. So that's why the season finale is number five on the worst list. Number four in the worst episodes of season seven is Slice Girls. Truly, the Amazon women here were scary and they get a really great introduction with that guy getting brutally chopped to bits at the beginning. And then after that, it's just nothing. Dean has a daughter, which is just so nonchalantly gotten rid of. There is even a moment where Sam has the exact same moment that Dean did in terms of blowing away someone that kind of means something to them, but it just doesn't go anywhere. It's never brought up again. It is such a haphazardly put together episode that could have had so much potential. That's probably one of the reasons why it's on this list is that it's such wasted potential. These Amazon ladies could have been great villains for the show, could have been, but they didn't go with it. No understanding why. Then that's why it's number four on the list. Number three on the list is one that actually some people might have actually thought would have been number one. Yes, it's bad because of its dated humor. It's really poor storytelling and it's cringe inducing shit, but it's not the worst one. Season seven time for a wedding. At least the intro is funny. This episode just doesn't age well at all. It's a date rape episode. Becky is just insufferable. I feel this episode is remembered more so for the notoriety that it has gained rather than actually what the episode is itself. And that's something that's worse, I find, than even than what it was originally. But just doesn't have any fun to it. And like I said, it's a very, very poorly aged episode for its content. So that's why it's number three. Number two on the worst list for season seven is Shut Up Dr. Phil. I feel bad doing this because of the Buffy alumni, but holy fuck, this episode sucks. It's so boring. And not only that, these people, Cordelia and Spike, kill people, brutally kill people, and they are let off scot-free because they have to make this episode of jokes about marriage. Oh, at the very end, they also throw in a Leviathan just being caught. Like, this episode has to happen because of what happens at the end, but it's so pointless to what happens up to it. There's not really any funny humor into it. It wasted really cool actors from a show that definitely inspired this one. It's only remembered for their appearances, nothing else. Now, before I say number one, I guess I should have one honorable mention. It's The Mentalist. And The Mentalist is in here because of the fucking copium the episode does to try and deviate the blame for Dean. Dean, who brutally murdered, hardcore murdered a mom and Sam's friend, who had been a, Wes, yes, was a monster, but she had been on the straight and narrow. It's like she'd only been killing bad people even at that point, but no. He's just like, yeah, you know, I was right and Sam's like, yeah, you were right. That ending was such a fucking terrible piece of writing. But let's actually talk about the number one worst episode of season seven, in my opinion, is the fucking plucky penny whistles magical menagerie. This episode sucks. It has a 24 hour 
style time counter for no fucking reason. Every time it comes back to that same time, it's just Sam getting the shit kicked out of him by clowns, and for some reason there's predator lines in here. And in the end, the guy who is the villain is the obvious fucking villain. This creepy motherfucker who should not have been allowed to work at a place with children. It's not funny, it's not scary, it's not entertaining, it is a shitty, shitty episode. This is definitely in my top 10 worst episodes for Supernatural. I know that some people thought that the thing was, like, the idea of it was funny, but no. We had seen better ones. Season 2 did a way better one. Plucky can go to fucking hell. That is why it is my number one worst episode of Season 7. But, I asked you guys to give me your worst episode, so let's see what you guys had to say. Now, while I didn't get a lot of comments associated with the worst episode from you guys, you guys all said really nice things, so thank you. I really wanted to say thank you for that. Um, one here... Uh, episode 8, Time for a Wedding, is my least favorite episode in the season because it justifies the obsessed part of the fandom that would take advantage of the Winchesters objectively and is treated as comedy. Which to me is a big no-no regardless of identity. Becky deserved more than just a slap on the wrist for what she did to Sam. Absolutely agree. She definitely deserved uh, some uh, jail time there. <laughs> Uh, worst picks, Time for a Wedding, Shut Up Dr. Phil, The Slice Girls. After re-watching Season 7, I've made my choice to never <laughs> re-watch it again. I'm hoping that my opinion of the season would have changed like uh, Buffy Season 6, but sadly it didn't. Nah, mine neither. I've held off on watching this season for a very long time for exactly this reason. I would only like six episodes total, and I'm pretty indifferent into how bad the rest of them are. I couldn't bring myself to a total rewatch. But I think it's the one where Cass returns, born uh, again identity. While it was hap I was happy to see Cass return, I remember being totally turned off by how easily Cass just solves the problem of Sam's soul being flayed by Lucifer in the cage. Just barely an inconvenience. Yeah. And it takes uh, it from him. Even after death exclusively says that you can't just hack off the hell bit. This is telling of how the show will go in general for future seasons. Unfortunately, fast and loose, baby. Season 8, here we come. I really don't like the, the, how the, the convenience of the cast thing, the um, just the fact that he's married and then she just disappears for the rest of the show forever. I did like Sam losing his mind but still being able to help another patient with a ghost. So that's what brought that episode out of mediocrity for me. But I understand where you're coming from there. What do you think of Mark Shepard saying season 7 should have been swapped out with season 12? Um, maybe. Like, to be honest, both of these seasons are... At least season 12 has some good episodes, right? It has regarding Dean. That's kind of it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for those. Now we're moving on to the last video of season 7 being the top 5 best. Much like this one, if you guys want to give me your top 5 best episodes in the comments below, and maybe write a sentence or two about what your number one is and explain why. But yeah, give me your guys' like very short thoughts about why you think that episode is number one for the season, and then I will read those off in the final video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. I will see you guys on the final Supernatural Season 7 video.